Mark Berger knows just the types of finishing sound edits a film needs to win an Oscar. In fact, he's won four of them. His credits range from Amadeus to Apocalypse Now, both of which have won Academy Awards in the Best Sound category. The editors will be interested in emphasizing or de-emphasizing certain cuts, certain uh, aspects of the, the, the story. Maybe we'll talk about thematic sounds that want to be used and where the highs and the lows of, of the intensity want to be or the involvement. But the key to successful sound engineering is realizing that it goes beyond just mixing sounds together. A lot of it depends on your own built up vocabulary of sounds and emotions and associations. These were some of the skills put to use when editing Apocalypse Now, which won the Oscar for Best Sound in 1979. Well. Apocalypse was rather unusual. It was, I think we worked on it for about two years, two and a half years. The first problem was that there were no sound effects for the Vietnam War. Uh, no libraries or recordings really existed that we could use. So we spent basically a year gathering sound effects of helicopters, cannons, jets, boats, small arms fire, both American and Viet. Kong. Students of Professor Berger's film and sound course are held to high standards, exploring how sound contributes to a viewer's experience of the film. Students, the vocabulary and concepts to be able to understand and analyze how a soundtrack, a film soundtrack, works uh, using all the elements, dialogue, music, and effects, and to be able to understand in real time and talk about how it works with the image and what effect it has on the Viewer. Professor Berger agrees that his course is both challenging and rewarding. It gives students an opportunity to reorient their senses and practice processing information in a new way. So it involves a refocusing of what you pay attention to through a different sense medium and then developing along with that the vocabulary to express that. The course completely destroys your ability to watch a movie the way you're used to or in gentler terms will change completely the way you are used to watching a movie. As for the future, Professor Berger sees himself continuing to teach and work on films. Although the phone is constantly ringing with new potential projects, it don't expect any more big action films from him. I've been there, I've done that, I've had my loud films, I've had my dramatic films, I've had my offbeat films, I've had Ernest Goes to Camp and everything in between. So uh, basically it's just a matter of picking and choosing uh, things that I like. This is Lisa Lee reporting.